right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. I've got a couple of interesting stories for you guys today. The first story that I have for you guys today, Michael Crizzo, the IFBB elite pro bodybuilder that's been making, he's, he's been getting a lot of attention lately. He's been calling out a lot of IFBB pro league pros. He's got a really impressive physique, and he's competing this weekend in the Arnold Classic, but not the Arnold Classic Ohio, not the IFBB pro league Arnold Classic, the Arnold Classic Europe which is under the IFBB Elite Pro banner. But Michael posted these physique updates at just a couple days out from this show that he's doing, which is this weekend. And I think it's undeniable how good this guy looks. And I think that's why he gets so much attention um, trolling pro league bodybuilders, uh, bantering back and forth with them because he actually has the physique to back it up. And he's actually one of those guys that makes you wonder and makes you ask the question, what if he did go? Toe to toe with this IFBB pro bodybuilder. What if he did compete in the Arnold Classic? What if he did compete in the Olympia? He might be able to back up the trash he's talking. I've seen him talk about Nick. I've seen him talk about Blessing. I've seen him talk about several guys in the IFBB. But Michael is insane. Crazy round, crazy fool. I mean, he just got it all. And I, I want to ask you guys honestly where do you think he would place? If this is what he was looking like one week out from the Arnold Classic Ohio, what if that was the show he was doing? I mean, just compare this physique update to some of the other physique updates that we've seen from some of the athletes that are competing in the Arnold. He looks good. Do you think he could be top six? Do you think he could be top three? Do you think he could win the show? Personally, I think he could be top six. It's just an interesting conversation because we're kind of in a situation right now. We're in an era right now with these two different organizations to compete for bodybuilding one being international obviously our ifbb over here is the most prestigious it is the most competitive it has the best of the best but there are other bodybuilders that are not in this ifbb that are world-class bodybuilders granted a lot more of the world-class bodybuilders are in the ifbb here um, but it's an interesting conversation because this is a rare time where those two those two factions are separate but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Now, Terrence Ruffin, next up in the news, posting several physique updates under the goon light in this first one in his kitchen showing off his back. You can see a little bit of a Christmas tree, some vascularity, some detail in the mid to lower back. He looks pretty good. Now, I got to say again how impressed I am with Terrence and the transformation that he seems to have made from that initial physique update that we saw where he might not have looked as good as we thought he was going to look. Again, Right now, he's a week away from competing. He's one week from stepping on stage. So everything we're looking at here, just one week till we see him on stage. So we're going to know for sure how he looks very soon. But Terrence tightened up very quickly. And I got to give him props here. And he says in the caption of this post, this is part of why I wanted to talk about this particular post. If there's one thing I've learned during this prep, is that respect isn't something you get to keep after one win, one accomplishment, one title. Respect has to be earned every day. But I kind of like it that way. And I feel like he is referring to the people that were critical of that initial physique update, saying he looked off, me included. And I kind of like that he has this mentality. This is the mentality of a champion, even though I never meant any disrespect by those comments. He's always had my respect through his entire, um, really through his entire pro career. But I like that mentality. That's that prove them wrong, be undeniable mentality. Um, and I like that he's like that and not just mad that somebody is not constantly complimenting him. Now, his coach, Hypertrophy Coach, on Instagram also posted some updates today, some training videos, um, where you can see him doing some curls there. And he says in the caption of this post, I saw the best version ever of Rough Diesel posing after training today. I'm not sure if he's going to leak some pics, but it was wild. Y'all better be ready. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited to see what Terrence is going to bring to that Arnold stage. On paper, he's the favorite to win. He's the highest Olympia placer in that lineup from 2020. He's got the momentum going into this show. The other guy, Alex Combernero, who won the show last year, he's another favorite on paper. Again, you've got guys, Logan Franklin, Brian Jones. There's a lot of heavy hitters in this classic physique Arnold Classic lineup, and I'm excited to watch it. I'm almost just as excited to watch classic physique as men's open bodybuilding this year. All right, guys, I'm happy to announce that today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. 
One of the courses that I participated in and that I found particularly interesting was actually portrait photography. Shoot and edit Instagram worthy shots by Jessica Kobisi. So this interested me because I've always been interested in photography, but specifically wildlife photography. I have really no knowledge of portrait photography and really I'm not that big on Instagram. I don't really post very many Instagram pictures so I can always learn something new. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Whether you're a dabbler or a pro, a hobbyist or a master, you're creative. Discover what you can make with classes for every skill level. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. Connect with the support of fellow creatives and enter a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description box below will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Now, next up in the news, let's talk about Breon Ainsley posting these two physique updates recently, a front double bicep, a back double bicep, showing off his condition at this point in his Olympia prep three weeks out. So a lot of people have been asking me the question, why have I not been talking about Breon as much as I've been talking about some of these other guys in classic physique? And the reason for that is because I honestly think that Breon's era is over. Over the past three years, his placings have continued to drop. He went from winning to second, from second to third. And I think that's going to also be the case this year. Because generally speaking, in bodybuilding and in classic physique, following the trend line, is the best indicator of how someone is going to place. If someone is on an upward trajectory, it's very, very clear. They're placing better and better at shows. So eventually, they're going to win one, or you're going to predict they're going to win one. Generally, if someone loses a title, and then for a couple years after that, they continue to not be able to reclaim it, if you follow the trend line down, that's going to be probably the most accurate indicator. I don't think Breon is going to win the title back. That's no disrespect to Breon. I just think his era is over. So when I'm talking about some of these younger, newer guys, the reason for that is because I believe their trend line is going up. They're placing better. They're looking better. They're improving. They're new. They've got potential. They've got a chance at the title. They've got a shot at the title. And one of the things that I love to use this channel for is to give a platform to some of the people that have a smaller following, not as many people know about, but it looks like their trend line is going up. They're placing good. They got great physiques. They got a lot of potential, but maybe not as many people know about them. And in classic physique, there's a lot of those guys that are on the come up that I want to bring to the forefront because I think they're going to be taking over these placings a lot like what you're seeing in men's open bodybuilding with these younger guys. So to answer the question, does Breon look good? He looks fantastic here. Will he probably still be a top six guy? Most likely. Now, if you compare this picture to last year at three weeks out, it's really no different. He looked fantastic last year at three weeks out, but that didn't change the fact that he slipped down to third. I think the judges made a statement giving Chris Bumstead the title and from that point on, it was going to be physiques similar to Chris's that took the title. It was going to be structures similar to Chris's that took the title. Bigger, larger, heavier, more stage presence. The frame that Chris has commands the stage. Being a taller guy, big wide shoulders, heavier, tiny waist, he has a commanding presence on stage. And I think physiques like that, like Logan Franklin, like Brian Jones... These are the guys that are going to be the next generation of classic physique. I mean, you guys remember last year, this picture from three weeks out last year looks pretty much the same as how Breon looks here. We were all talking about how good Breon looked going into last year's Olympia. But again, it didn't change the fact that he didn't win, that he didn't even become runner up there. My kind of unofficial prediction right now is that Chris is going to win. Terrence will still be in the top three. Breon will be out of the top three, whether that means he's four or five, whatever. I think there's going to be a new name in the top three at the Classic Physique Olympia this year that was not there before. That's my prediction alongside Chris winning it. Now, next up in the news, Ian Valliere giving us a one-week-out physique update from the Arnold Classic in the Goonlight in Chris's garage. Well, I guess the garage they share. Um, looking grainy. Looking hard, he's showing off his back. Typically, I've kind of noticed that in a lot of his recent preps, he's been showing off his back and showing off his glutes, hamstrings, showing off the conditioning in the lower back. 
he looks good here. And he's the only bodybuilder in this lineup going into the Arnold Classic off of two wins in the 2021 season. He's the only bodybuilder that won two shows this year. He won um, Texas and he won Tampa. So if we're talking about on-paper favorites, Ian is one of them. Winning those two shows, placing, what was it, seventh at last year's Olympia. He's one of the highest Olympia placers going into this show. I'm trying to think who is higher. Uh, Bonak and Akeem. Roly wasn't there last year. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anyone. I think Bonak and Akeem are the only two in this lineup that placed higher than Ian. So he's top three in Olympia placings here. And the only one that won two shows this year. Could Ian wind up in the top three at this show? That's certainly possible as well. Could he win the whole thing? That's possible too. William Bonak, the returning defending champion, is someone that he's never beaten. So that's going to be an interesting battle to see if they are in the same call out. All right, that's going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. I hope you did, in fact, enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. That helps out a lot. It's free, it's easy, and it really does help. So give the video a like if you like the channel. Leave a comment down below. Check out our sponsors. Link in the description box below. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And as always, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.